Hello, today we're going to review the school website. The school website is a great place to find a lot of really great information. To go to the school website, you're going to go to lvip.leeschools.net. Right here, lvip.leeschools.net. And you'll notice there's a button for attendance, frequently asked questions. If you know someone who wants to become a student, here's an application. <clears throat> but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see some pictures scrolling through and some school events. A little bit further down, you'll see information for any part-time students. And if you are a full-time Lee Virtual student, here is your full-time information, your daily attendance sign-in, elementary students, secondary students, and of course, everybody wants to know the testing schedule, and it's right there on our main page. If you go to the upper right-hand corner and click on Menu, and then click on Calendar, you can access our full calendar, and uh, it gets updated very often, so it's important that you check this calendar very often. There's lots of different information on here. Um, to get more information, just click on it, open it up, read where the entrance you need to go to, the times, all that great information. In addition to the calendar, there are many other resources. So don't forget to go to Academics, Student Life, contact us. Teachers is a great place to go find more information about your teachers. SAC, Chromebook information, other resources. And here is your testing calendar, your testing schedule. So we know that your time is very important, and we want to make sure that you have plenty of time to make arrangements to come in for these test dates and times. So we have all the dates scheduled and posted on our website. So if you are in high school taking a test in the winter or fall, um, you'd click on here. If you're middle school, winter or fall, second link, elementary schedule. Then we've got high school spring and middle school spring. So you're going to look for either the grade level or the course that you're taking. If you're in 10th grade but taking, if you're in 9th grade but taking geometry, look at the geometry EOC, not just at 9th grade stuff. You're going to need to make sure that you're looking at all 9th grade stuff and all geometry courses or whatever course you have that has an EOC attached to it. Make sure you look up that information. And of course, if you want to participate in our Student Advisory Council, um, our SAC committee meets every so often. Please check the SAC link to find out when the next meeting is scheduled. This is not just for parents. Students, your opinion matters. You can attend as well. And again, I've already said it, but please come back and check our website um, often. We're constantly updating the website, so make sure that you are Checking that calendar to make sure you don't miss out on an important date.